Hello. I'm Zach Jacobson. I'm Abby. And thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. So, Zach, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a 18-year-old boy who works at a small town farm in Howard, South Dakota. We got 200 cows and 15 bulls that I take care of and kind of just watch every day. All right. So how did you hear about my business? I saw an ad at Rumors Bar and Jackie Stir, that happened to be the bartender, came and talked to me about it. And it turns out it was her own daughter's uh, business. Amazing. So why do you feel that you're fit for this job? I feel that I'm fit for this job because I have eight years of experience on the beef cattle industry and I have worked every day at our farm and I've done every task possible to encourage and build up the farm and make more profit in our agriculture industry. Okay. So what are your, some of your strengths? Then? My strengths would be I got I'm really hands-on learner and I, I can click on to things real easy. I can solve tasks with real ease and I'm just very agriculturally smart. So I know the ups and downs and how to make profit on all agriculture industries. So mm -hmm. beef cattle, I'm really, really good at whole beef cattle operation. I know when to sell, what to feed the calves and what illnesses and everything else that we need to know about beef cattle. Mm -hmm. So what are some of your weaknesses? My weaknesses would probably be admitting I need help when when I need it and I just I'm more of like a lone lone wolf I guess you could say but I just don't like to admit I need help on different tasks and my when I'm doing work. So in your resume, it says that you did 4-H. What was some of like your favorite moments? And Ooh, my favorite moments of 4-H would probably be showing cattle. I love showing cattle. I love being with cattle. Cattle's just kind of been my life ever since I was a kid. I love uh, meeting new friends at 4-H and kind of learning about their whole uh, entrepreneurships and what they all show and how they take care of it and I've met many friends like Caden Scott he shows goats and uh, Tanner and Derek Van Assault, two twins show cattle and goats and pigs and I've got to learn all about pigs and goats through them and they kind of gave me the ups and downs and kind of made me want to get some goats at some mm -hmm. point in time but yeah and then FFA like how'd you get started an FFA. I started out as a seventh grader and kind of went to as a senior and I've done numerous activities. I've done natural resources, extemp speaking, egg broadcasting, egg issues, um, livestock judging, egg mechanics and all of them kind of just helped me out like livestock judging I use that almost every day. I'll judge different calves out in my field and see which ones are really good and which ones I'd probably get more profit off of. And I know how to do reasonings and evaluation of my herd and like keep call. And so which ones I'd keep, and which ones I'd sell. And then also like my egg broadcasting stamp, really good at kind of like talking and talking to other individuals with a enthusiastic voice that they'd really want to hear with with all of that and then egg mechanics helps me out with farm machinery equipment updates fixing all of that and kind of knowing the ups and downs of all agriculture equipment and kind of natural resources i guess know a lot about different animals out on the farm so different little random things they're trying to kill my cows like coyotes foxes mountain lions etc and then like different things you don't want in a barn like skunks <laughs> definitely not skunks raccoons possums 
woodchucks, um, and yeah. Sweet. So why did you choose Lake Area for your School of Education? I chose Lake Area because I thought it'd be the right fit for me. They had exactly what I wanted, beef production management, but then they changed it to livestock production management just this last year. So I can definitely broaden my surroundings and different mm -hmm. livestock that I'll take care of. So I can learn all the ups and downs and more about my beef industry that I want to keep doing. But I can also, if I get goats, I can learn about the goat industry too and kind of make profit right out of the gate and go from there. And I've, my buddy goes up there right now and he says he loves it. He got me set up with a tour with Christina, really like Christina. <laughs> and yeah, it was just a good, it was a good time. Amazing. So why do you, what kind of like a job area are you like looking for in our business? I'm looking to be your cattle hand, but if you need me to do like land and all that, I can do it. I've got experience in all that category. I do that with my dad. I farm probably a thousand acres of crops like beans and corn. And sometimes we do a little bit of oats and all that. We just got done bailing corn stalks just the other day. So I'm really good at running machinery and kind of doing machinery fixing. And I just, I'm really tech savvy when it comes to farm equipment and how to run it and all that. And yeah. Okay. So do you have anything else that you wish to like ask or like tell us about like any fun moments that you've had on the farm or? Ooh, fun moments. I'd have to say probably my funnest moment would probably have to be when me and my brother decided it'd be a great time to chase cattle by ourselves and a baby calf, we were trying to catch it from this cow because the cow was having trouble milking and I got the cow in the barn, but the calf, we couldn't get it. And it ended up running over my brother. Literally mauled him over. He hit the ground. He was kind of crying. I was laughing. I got the calf, pulled him in the barn, got him to suck. But it's really difficult to get him to suck when they have trouble. Like if they like put their head in a little chute, but then they like to move around a lot. So we got this little mechanism called the calf can't kick. Mm -hmm. Pretty much gets on their hips it squeezes down and then they can't move side to side, which really helps to ensure my safety when helping the cow and her calf. And the calf was just fine after that and took her right off, kept sucking, just did what a calf's supposed to do. Have you been able to like handle stress during hard times? I have uh, learned to work through it. So when I had a stressful situation, I just like to see the bright sides of every situation. So I usually don't get very upset about it. I kind of just keep keep moving on, you know. Life's a garden. Dig it. Make it work for you. It's your dirt, you know. But yeah, I kind of just work right through it and just stay my happy little self. And it just usually helps without the whole situation. Because when I'm working with my brother too, he'll usually be way happier if I'm happy and not all upset. So we usually get the job done without any trouble. Do you prefer to work like by yourself or with like a bunch of people? I prefer to work by myself so then I can run on my own schedule and get my own stuff done. But also it's really beneficial to have the extra help like my brother He's got his own job working at uh, Dakota Tube and Iron. He's cutting tube, and I kind of take him off of there, and I'll pay him, and we kind of just go, and he'll help me through, like, chasing cattle, working cattle, tagging them, banding them, and break check-in, and usually well, I'll end up selling square bills, and he'll usually help me do that so that way I don't really hurt myself and kind of just don't overwork myself too much. So you usually help me with some of the harder things that you can't really do with one person, but yeah. Alrighty. Well, that is all I have for you. And
Perfect. I feel like you'll be a great fit for our job, so we'll keep in touch. Well, thank you. Yeah.